February the 24th, today's wisdom, nine fruits of the wicked. For their hearts study a destruction, and their lips talk of mischief. Proverbs 24, 2. This verse is linked to the preceding one, Proverbs 24, 1, which says not to envy the wicked. Indeed, seeing the prosperity of the wicked, it's not surprising to envy them. But when by the grace of God, we consider their final fate, we can abstain ourselves. If it's not possible to weigh the heart of the wicked, it's possible all the same to pay attention to the words out of their lips. Cause of many sorrows. It doesn't mean that all the wicked will tell you clearly in face what they think about you in their hearts. No. Because of their deep hypocrisy, they are often experts in laughs and good words, while in their heart they are sharp swords. What characterizes the wicked is that he is blind and dominated by wickedness. So even if sometimes he manages to manipulate people with his intelligence and tongue, sooner or later, this tongue will betray him without him noticing. The wicked are not to be envied at all no matter their position, power, privilege, and possession. How to recognize them? Only the sap of Christ flowing in our heart, rooted in Him, will be able to bear fruit pleasing to God. Nine fruit of the wicked compared to the righteous. 1. Instead of love, hatred. 2. Instead of forgiveness, condemnation. 3. Instead of trust, mistrust. 4. Instead of generosity, cupidity. 5. Instead of freedom, control. 6. Instead of affirmation, criticisms. 7. Instead of encouragement, discouragement. 8. Instead of justice, injustice. 9. Instead of truth, lie. Which fruit do we bear? Jesus says, You shall know them by their fruits. Matthew 7.16 Jesus uses the image of the fruit to show his disciples that the life that a man produces depends on the seed rooted in him. Truth. What a man says and does depends on what he believes in. Application. To believe that what God says is a truth. To believe what God says. Which seed is rooted in me? Warning. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Matthew 7, 15. Let's pray together. Father, help me not to attach myself to a man because of his possessions and privileges, his power or position, but that I be always attached to you and concerned by my neighbor, whoever he is. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's reading, Psalm 116 to 120, verse 24, Deuteronomy 7 to 9. You are blessed.